Hi guys, in today's tutorial I'd like to show you how you can build a counting system which we used in the Bunny Boards game because a lot of people asked if I could make a tutorial for the redstone behind this and since this is actually quite easy I thought why not let me show you how to build this up. So here I've got a setup that is half wired already so this side is done, this side isn't, we will do this side in just a moment. And um, first up let me show you what this does so you can see the redstone lamps there and whenever I hop into here I will uh, yeah, basically score a point and this there will count up, so let me do it another time. So now the second one turns on and so on. And the concept behind this is actually quite easy. We've got a redstone memory cell over here which is just two comparators which yeah, put the redstone level into each other so this will always be stored. And uh, we can override this by any higher signal. So this has a signal strength of two right now, as you can see right here. And if I put anything higher into this, it will store the higher value. So we want to put now a three into this and therefore we need to calculate that we need a three. And that's why there are redstone torches here on the side. So this redstone torch is turned on because uh, the redstone here is not turned on. So it will give its power to here, which is a redstone level of 15. So we've got 14 here, 13 and 12. With this 12 now here on this side, we will then make a calculation where we uh, do 15 from this block minus the 12 is a redstone level of three. This goes then into the memory cell and since three is higher than two, we store the uh, yes yeah, three inside instead of the two. So let me demonstrate this real quick. If I step into here once more, We'll have the three and now we've got uh, this one here turned on. So we've got um, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, and then 15 minus uh, the 11 is four. So we would store a four. The only thing that we need to know about this two is that we need a pulse which is, uh, which is only two ticks long because this is uh, one time around in the cell. So to build up the redstone power in here. We want to have a two tick pulse and we can easily do that by a sticky piston, uh, one tick pulse, uh, which we put into a two tick repeater. So we get the pulse into here. And then I really recommend to use a fade out or something like that to uh, prevent uh, the tripwire or button to be triggered multiple times in a short amount of time. So we yeah, just um, put this into a fade out and this will then go into the sticky piston. So I think that's enough of explanation for now and we should build this up and uh, therefore we'll just go to the other side here and I show you how to build this. So first up where you have your lamps um, you can just put uh, buttons, uh, blocks behind this and I think you can have up to 14 lamps with one memory cell. Then we put repeaters on top and also the redstone. And then next to the redstone as I showed you already we want to have redstone torches which then power up a redstone line right here. So we get the power into this redstone, bring it up by one block and uh, we want to have this into the side of a comparator which is in the subtract mode. This will then go into another comparator which will put it into a block and this block is part of the uh, memory cell so we can uh, hook it up here, a comparator facing into it and then it will grab the redstone from here, put it into a block and into the redstone. And uh, all we have to do then is connect it up with a comparator to this line. And uh, then we just need to give the signal into the back here. So if I just put in a repeater, um, I can hook up a sticky piston over here and any signal input that I will hook up to the sticky piston now uh, we'll give a one tick pulse, so a two tick pulse into the system and we will already count up. So this was one. Ah, oh, it didn't work. Why didn't it? I guess I'm... Oh, I made a mistake here. It wasn't on two ticks, so now it works. Um, so we've got one lit up, then now we've got the second lit up and so on. Of course, you also want to be able to reset it and that's even more easy than building this up. You can just add another block here, put this into subtract mode, add a redstone dust there and if we just give power to this redstone dust on top here, uh, you'll see that this empties out because we do anything what, what, is, uh, what is in here minus 15 which is always zero. And so we can just hook it up 
uh, to a um, button, which is in my case here right in the middle. We can connect the redstone line like this. And now uh, you can just hook up your input over here. If you want to build this up, um, you just add a redstone wire down there, put it into redstone, and as I said, put it into a fade out just to be uh, safe, and then you can just put a redstone dust next to the sticky piston to bring it up with uh, redstone torches. That's way easier than having, having a long line like here on the side, and way more compact. So that is already everything that you need to do uh, or need to know about this uh, counting system. As I said, quite easy and quite useful if you want to build any minigame of any sort. So that's it for today's tutorial already. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and share this video with your friends. And don't forget to leave me a comment if you're liking this, if you will be using this or whatever you like. But that's it from me. I'm Esther Petty and I'm out.